Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor from Johnson County Community College. In this short screencast, we're going to talk about how JavaScript stores number data, and we're also going to talk about how to convert decimal values to integers and back and forth in order to do accurate four function math in JavaScript. And as you know from math class, numbers can be represented in different ways. For example, a third, when we write it as a fraction, is very simple, one over three. But when we attempt it to write that as a decimal number, we end up with threes that go on forever because three never divides quite evenly into one. And that is the essence of the problem in JavaScript. JavaScript stores numbers in a binary format because in the computer, really all we have are ones and zeros. One represents a pulse of electricity and a zero represents the absence of electricity. And we just send that electricity around the circuit boards very, very, very fast. So all numbers represented in ones and zeros, and we call that a binary system. Our first digit is two to the zero power, one, two to the first power, two, and two to the second power, four. So five in decimal is one zero one in binary. And it's not necessary that in computer systems you know how to convert from decimal to binary, but I give you this background to explain the problem that we have in JavaScript. Remember, JavaScript and all computer systems think in binary, and they don't always work the same way as decimal numbers or fractions work. For example, 0 0.1 in our decimal system that has 10 digits is actually this number that goes on forever in binary. And that's why 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 in JavaScript and all programs creates this number that goes on forever and gives you some ugly answers. So let's talk about how to fix this. Beyond this little explanation, if you want to know more about how JavaScript stores numbers, I encourage you to go to W3Schools and go to JavaScript numbers. This is an excellent job of explaining how JavaScript stores numbers only as one type of number, which can be written with or without decimal points, and how to store large numbers, and why math can be difficult in JavaScript, because we have 64 bits to represent our number, 64 ones or zeros. That's it. It goes on to show that numbers can be accurate up to 15 digits. So here's a 15 digit number with all nines, but once we get 16 nines, our number is not accurate anymore because we can only store up to 15. It also talks about the digits to the right of the decimal point and when we convert to binary, what this means. And so here's our little example, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 actually becomes 0.3 with a four in the 17th position so it's not 100% accurate because of the conversion between decimal numbers and binary numbers. So it even shows you how to solve the problem. We multiply our numbers to make them into integers, then we can divide back by that same value to get our correct answer. So let's practice that in our script. I've assigned price to be one, price to two to be two, and tax to be 5%. So we're going to calculate the total tax here. We're going to add our prices together and multiply by the tax and console log that out. When we run that calculation and console log out total tax by just adding 1 plus 2, that's 3, and multiplying it by 5%, we think we're going to be paying 15 cents in tax. But because of the conversion of a decimal number to binary, and how the digits can go on forever in binary, we get this little remainder in the 17th position of the decimal number. So that is a problem. So anytime you're working, adding or multiplying with fractions, with numbers that are smaller than one in JavaScript, here's the answer. We need to convert those decimal numbers, those numbers less than an integer, to integers. So I'm going to add in this statement, I'm gonna multiply tax by 100, that will make tax five. And then I'm going to let total tax two be price one plus price two times tax integer. So now instead of paying 15 cents in tax, we're gonna be multiplying by five. So this is gonna be three times five, 15 bucks. Well, we don't wanna pay 15 bucks in tax. So then once we've got the answer we're looking for, once this calculation gives us an integer of 15, then we can divide it by 100 to get it back to 0.15.
and I'm going to console log out total tax two as well. Let's save and refresh that. And we see that on line 26, I got this strange piece of remainder on my answer. But when I made the conversion of tax to five, took price three times five, and then divided it by 100, I'm back to 0.15. So that's the answer for JavaScript. Make sure you're adding and multiplying by integers, and life will be good. Thank you.